Hello everyone, it's Mamie here and I am here on behalf of catscrappiness.com today and I am going to be making a awesome card with the Rooting For You stamp set by Lawn Fawn. And this stamp set is available in Cat Store and I'm going to be using several different Hero Art Shadow inks and also a few of my Stampin' Up! inks just for a little bit of variation in color. So I really love this stamp set because I get to use all my inks and it's so much fun to pull out all my different inks and I get to layer them and everything like that so you just get to use all your colors and it's really really fun so the first ink I used there was the Red Royal ink and oh I'm also using one of my ink pads from Fun Stamper's Journey so I used the Red Royal and then I used the Hero Art Shadow ink Lime Green and also the Fun Stamper's Journey Limeade Splash for the stems I guess you could call them and so I really love this stamp set it's so cute I did have some trouble at first trying to figure out exactly what all the vegetables were <laughs> but um, so here I'm using the passion flower by hero arts and I am double stamping some of them not that they wouldn't dry uh, they would probably have dried just fine and been clear but I like uh, a little bit darker color for what I'm working on today and I did use one of my Stampin Up there because I don't have like all the colors in the Hero Arts line so I'm just using a couple of uh, the Stampin Up ones as well and the green one was I have pistachio wait pistachio pudding and wild wasabi that I'm going to be using those greens and I'm also using the orange soda by hero arts and I mainly got mine from uh, a couple just a couple of places online so I'll make sure I link those in the description if I can find the places that I got them if you're interested in these inks they're really great inks And there I'm using the dark quartz on the uh, carrot and then the grape juice to layer the, I guess it's a radish. <laughs> and then the last one here, I think this is an onion. But you guys can totally correct me. Oh, also I used one of my archival inks too. And that is, let me see here, pale ochre. And so now I'm just going back and forth doing all of the stems. This is such a great stamp set. Um, I am using this kind of for a fall theme card today. So I will try to use some fall colors and stuff for the background and, and all that. And so I'm just about done here stamping the vegetables and the stamp set comes with some really cute little faces um, as usual Lawn Fawn always has precious little faces to put on everything and so I'm putting on the different faces and then there's this one stamp that had like two circles on each side and I was like what in the world are these two circles I could not for the life of me figure out You'll see in just a second what they actually are and I found out after I looked online at some of the cards that people had made with this stamp set so I could try to figure out what those two circles were so I found out what they were and they are actually to put on the cheeks on my vegetables so here's that so those are what those were for <laughs> So I really love the little cheeks. Those are great. A great addition. And I also stamped the um, watering can there. And I stamped that in the charcoal Hero Arts ink. And I am stamping the little, um, what are those called? The little labels that stick into the ground. I, bl I stamped that in Blushing Bride by Stampin' Up.
And so now I'm just putting some, they have some little tiny sentiments in the stamp set and they say beets, radishes, carrots, turnips, happy, and veggies. Okay, turnip. So maybe something, maybe that purple thing is a turnip. Oh, Y'all are going to think I'm ridiculous, but I really don't know. <laughs> I know the carrot and maybe the onion and the beets. So that's about it. Okay, so now we're going to be doing some ink blending, of course. And so I'm using three Distress Inks for this. And they are the... The first one that I'm using there is... Let me see. It escapes me right now. The first one is Ripe Persimmon. And then... Spice Marmalade and Mustard Seed. And so I'm just going to blend up from darkest to lightest and then back down. Um, I might have cut out the going back down part because you get the point. So you're just going back and forth very easy here. I'm just using regular watercolor paper. Um, this is uh, Canson watercolor paper. Just whatever was sitting on my desk. And now I'm also using my Lawn Fawn stitched border dies, or stitched hillside, sorry, dies. And I'm going to create some little ground area to put my veggies in. Just lining that up, trying to figure out what looks good. And I'm going to ink blend on these, of course. And I am using the um, Vintage Photo. To get a, get a nice blend on that. And then I'm also using the Gathered Twigs to just darken up the bottom a bit as well. And now I'm just going to line everything up and put it kind of where I want it. And I'm going to use a stitched rectangle die. Oh, well, after I do this, I'm using a MFT bubble die here to create the cloud slash heading on the card here. So it can be a speech bubble, but I also like to think that it looks like a cloud bubble. I'm just darkening that up a little bit with the um, tumble glass. And now I'm taking my stitch rectangle die here. And <clears throat> I'm going to... Uh, kind of try to do this all together. Obviously the water paper, the watercolor paper is too thick to go through more than one layer. So um, I separated the card a bit so that I could go through each one but still keep them lined up there. So that way I would have stitching all the way around all the elements. And now I'm just kind of putting everything into place. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment and it says have an upbeat day and it also comes with a little exclamation point there at the end so you can put it on at the end of your sentence or sentiment And now I'm just popping up the cloud speech bubble at the top and the ground at the bottom. Just the uh, foreground, the background, I'm just leaving that flat. 
And now that I've got that all done, I can magically cut out all of the other elements. And I use my brother's scan and cut. Actually, no, I was going to use my brother's scan and cut. And then like some of the parts I didn't stamp together perfectly. And so that it wasn't recognizing them. So I was like, oh, I'll just hand cut them. So I did actually hand cut these. I forgot. But I usually use my brother's scan and cut. And I'm just kind of fiddling with it a bit to see where I want everything. And I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to glue everything down. And put that watering can up there and there also comes with a little bit of water squirt kind of stuff that you can stamp as well you'll see I stamp under the watering can and I am stamping that in let's see pool party by stamping up and so it's just uh, that little those little water sprout that comes out of the watering can it's really cute and also I'm going with some, a white gel pen here to highlight a little bit on the vegetables and just everything because I get a little bit crazy with my white gel pen. But it just kind of looks like they're a little bit wet, I guess, from getting watered. And also putting the white highlight on the, uh, the watering can makes it appear a little bit more like metal. And I think that looks pretty good, but I can't leave well enough alone, so... Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a background, which I planned on doing, but I I wasn't sure 100%, and then I decided to go ahead and do it because I had this I have this really cute pattern paper left still out of my Booze and Brews stamp uh, paper pad that I have been using like every day, and this actually went well with it, even though it's a Halloween um, paper pad, it went really good with all the colors in here, so I think it looks really cute, and I'm popping up the this piece on the card base here and I just think it turned out really precious and so just to finish it off I'm going to use my Wink of Stella glitter pen here so thanks so much for joining us today and make sure to stop by catscrappiness.com store and stop by her YouTube channel and subscribe as well as mine at Mamie Carson and have a great day